Welcome back. Last time we left off, we textured quite a few of our objects. Now, I've gone ahead and actually finished texturing all of the other objects in our scene. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to export all of our objects to Unreal 4, and then we're going to create our scene, and it's going to be really cool. Now, before we can just run into creating our scene in Unreal 4 and just exporting these objects, we want to make sure that we're going to have an easy time building our level because we are going to be using some modular workflows to be able to make our level expand. So we're going to have to move our pivot points around so that we have an easier time creating our level inside of Unreal 4. So it's going to be pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to move our pivot points to areas where it seems logical where the model would snap. So we're going to want our, so we want our base floor piece to be able to snap from section to section. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move our pivot point into the back left hand corner down here and that's going to make it really easy. Additionally, oh, we already have our pivot point in this back left corner for our back wall. And we have to also move a piece up here and we're going to do the same thing over here. So we'll be able to take all of these pieces and move them together and using Unreal 4's grid system be able to snap them and build our level out really easily. So. The first thing I want to do is I'm just going to come up to my hierarchy tab and I'm going to hit effect pivot only. And now I can move the pivot of my model around. And I want to move it and snap it to this vertice right here. So I'm going to turn on my 3D snaps. And if you right click it, you can open up your grid and snap settings menu and just set it to vertex. It might be set to grid points. I have mine set to vertex. So I'm just going to grab it and move it over there and it's going to snap to that grid point. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to turn it on, move my grid over there. This guy's pivot point is set up to the top corner. I want to move it down here, so I'm just going to do that really quick. And other objects such as your center disk platform, or what I have is my center disk platform, I just have it set in the center so I can easily move it. Uh, it doesn't really matter where it is on objects like this. Objects like the vent, I have my pivot point set to the back vertice, so whenever I align it on something, I can just move it easily and easily be able to identify that it's going into the wall, so it doesn't hover. And for my light, I have my pivot point set in the middle of the model, which is fine. Same thing with my X band right here, and the cameras are at the top of the disc that holds it into the ceiling. I also brought over my wires from our other scene because I thought that they looked kind of cool and they're just going to hang out you know, in the center of the model. Now the next thing that we need to do is export all our objects and I'll just do that really quickly with you guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to select one of your objects and you're going to center it in world zero. So at the very center of your scene based on your pivot point. And there's two different ways you can do that. You can either right click your select and move tool and type in zero 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 or at the bottom here you have these little spinners and you could just right click them and it'll reset them to zero. So now this is set in with world space zero and I'm going to come up to my 3ds max button and I'm going to hit export and I'm just going to drop all of my assets on my desktop. So I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this side scroller. And in this folder, I'm going to make another folder, and I'm going to call this Export Meshes. And I'm going to name this Static Mesh, or SM, and you can use your own sort of naming convention. I personally like naming my Static Meshes SM, my Skeletal Meshes SK, so, so SM underscore Base Stage 01, just in case we have other base stages We'll have an 01. And we're going to export it as an FBX. UDK used to allow it so that you could export it as .ASC, right here, ASCII scene export. They don't allow that anymore, so you have to export it as .FBX. And click Save. And you're going to get this FBX uh, export version. What you're going to want to do is open your geometry tab and make sure that smoothing groups is uh, selected. You can turn off Turbo Smooth. Uh, and everything else you can leave default. We're not exporting any animations, so you can just turn that off. And then down here in advanced options, you want to go to FBX file format and make sure that your version is set to 2013. 2014 is still a little shaky, so 
2013 is good. We'll make sure everything gets in right. And just hit OK. And your screen will do something at the bottom, and then it's done. So I'm just going to take this guy, and I'm going to hide him. And we'll do a few more objects. Now I have different UVs for my top stage from my bottom stage, so I'm actually going to export both of them. And just go to export. This is going to be base stage top 01. Save. All oh, this looks good. Okay. And I'm just going to hide it. So now that we have all of our ob objects exported in a folder right here, we can import them into Unreal 4 also with our textures and everything. So we'll handle that next.